the head of the extreme right party, the National Front, also on the list for setting up a, quote, sophisticated offshore system. Well, for more on that, let's bring in our French politics editor, Mark Perlman. Mark, what more can you tell us? Uh, that this is not new. Uh, first of all, I mean, there is an ongoing investigation by French judges into uh, the finances of the National Front. Uh, several members or people close to the party are already under formal uh, investigation uh, because there has been suspicion uh, that in the 2012 presidential election, both presidential and legislative election, a system was uh, set up for the party uh, to gain uh, money uh, from the state, from uh, sympathizers, and uh, not necessarily use it legally. What this adds is maybe how uh, this was done, and especially uh, through uh, the use of tax haven of offshore, offshore companies. Uh, Le Monde uh, describes in today's edition uh, what it calls a sophisticated system whereby money would be siphoned uh, from France going through uh, uh, shell companies and end up in places uh, that are generally uh, far away from uh, where judges are looking. But as I said, this has been an ongoing story, obviously, given the world uh, scandal we're seeing, being part of this and being associated uh, with notorious uh, thieves or prominent rulers is not something that's going to look good for the National Front. Well, I guess that's my next question. Given that we already knew about this, will this hurt Marine Le Pen politically more? I wouldn't uh, say so, because, first of all, it has been an ongoing story in the National Front already has uh, its excuses. We're anti-establishment, so the establishment is going after us. And when they say the establishment, they say the media. And Le Monde, which is uh, France's paper of reference, as you will, is seen by uh, the National Front as clearly uh, allied with the elites. And so they're going to say, this is a witch hunt. This is because we're rising in the polls. We have a good chance in next year's presidential election to make it into uh, the second round that they're going after us. And most of their followers would agree on this. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the fact that the party is associated with all the financial scandals, the political financial scandals, I should say, that it criticized for years uh, for against the Socialist Party, the rural conservative parties. For many years, we heard the National Front say, oh, they're all rotten. They use the money illegally to be also uh, associated with this could hurt them uh, with some voters who are maybe hesitating to support the National Front because they will say, well, they're just like the other parties. Uh, they apply the rules when they have to, but they uh, go around the rules when they need.